What is going on everybody? My name is Dubs, and today we are back for some FDB and today we are with... Hello, it's Jack, boom, don't boom, worry, boom. I don't have a name. Something Gammon? Yeah, and it's something like that. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, explain what we're going to be doing today. Well, we're going to be setting up some uh, stuff to do with Wrath Light as they're part of um, factorization. We can make some really cool things such as Wrath Lamps. Uh, but the main reason we're actually doing this is because we want to upgrade the barrel sorts. Because um, at my base it's overflowing. Orcs' base has barrels are overflowing from the quarries. <laughs> and we need to create a better way of doing that. And we're going to do that by making uh, something called an extra dimensional uh, Ooh, barrel so upgrade. Sure. Now, what that is, is it requires this new item called Dark Iron, which we'll get into later, it's the reason we're going to be making uh, Wrath Igniters. Uh, but the reason we do this is because you right click a barrel with the upgrade and it lets you store, rather than 64 stacks, like 1024. Uh, 1, yeah, it's amazing. about that. It's really awesome. There is a downside to it, but we'll get into that a little later uh, when we actually make the upgrades. Yeah. But anyway, should we get started and get mm. some diamond shards up and running? Yeah. So the so first thing we need to make is do you want a to craft it? packet. Yes. And we need something else called a uh, craft packet stamper. I've got that. So if you want to go and place that, ooh, you've actually dropped it. Whoa! What the hell? Ooh. What? <laughs> How is? Okay. Well. Um, that's... Take that one. One for me, one for you. You did not see anything. <laughs> do, do, do. What the hell has happened? I know nothing. Okay, let's pop this down here. You you can <laughs> do whatever you want with that. What the? Anyway, That's a great um, way to start off you... an episode, glitching out the game. <laughs> can you pass me a second? Uh, I want to just have a look at it. Have a look at the packet. The if packet. you put it in there, okay. it automatically... So, Actually, no, yeah, just put it in there. So that makes diamond shards. Ta -da. So, do, 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 do. What, split these in half? Uh, yeah, you have nine, I have nine. Nice. So what yeah, you do your with never these... Break? Uh, I've got these on me at the moment. There you go. Cool. So what we do with these uh, diamond shards, we place them in a crafting bench with some nether brick, and this will give you wrath igniters. Now, I'm only going to make two wrath igniters at the moment because they do have a very, very long uh, durability rating on. So let's put the rest in here. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff you can do with these wrath igniters. They allow you to transform materials, which we'll get into later when we get mm. over to the wasteland where we're actually going to be going. We've both got so, a decent amount of iron blocks. We'll, we'll explain yeah. everything whilst we're over there, Exactly. So, yeah, we're going to see you when we're over there. So, we are back, and we're in the wasteland biome, where our quarries are. Exactly. And we are ready to use the... Is it the reef igniter? Yeah, the wrath igniter, yeah, yes. You so, use us first. Yeah, so uh, there's lots of things you can do with this. So, first of all, if you uh, go and uh, burn obsidian, it should turn back into lava. I've not actually tried this out yet. Um, but I've been reading on the wiki and apparently it will turn obsidian back into lava. You just have Do to wait a little while. Do not get on fire by this. this is, <laughs> you, you, literally you take a ridiculous down. amount of damage from this. So this and should... And you do that... Yeah. There we I'm go, look. on some... It's turning into lava. Iron. That's Whoa. pretty awesome. Whoa. <laughs> exactly. Wow. You didn't believe me when I said, did you? And look at the iron. I've just done it to the iron. Have you? Oh, oh. on my screen it's not... Oh, yeah. It's just lit up now. So we don't want a pool of lava, lava here. It's going to be a bit dangerous. <laughs> so let's just turn and that back into. And join it to the stone, and I'll do it to the stone brick. Just a minute. So yeah, <gasps> you can also the dark iron. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you nearly <laughs> set me on fire. I was still on top of there. There we go. So along with it creating lava back into obsidian, uh, obsidian back into lava, it will also create this dark iron, which you actually need for the recipes for part of factorization. Uh, once this is all put out, we'll go and harvest this in a second and uh, along with that it'll also turn smooth stone into cobblestone and stone brick into cracked stone brick so it's a great way of getting the cracked stone brick uh, i think that's actually the only way you can do it except for using a crumble horn isn't it mm, they're actually it's a very nice recipe exactly anyway we got oh, all of this uh dark burning. <laughs> yeah, so i think it's only by the fire. yeah so we've basically put down i think what is it 64 blocks in total isn't it mm. And we're going to split this in half because we thought, since we're doing it, we might as well do a mass production of it at first rather than uh, wait a while. How much yeah, uh, of the... There you go. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Down there. I've got 48 now, you know. Ooh, so... How much have you got? Uh, none. <laughs> I'll pass it. Pass whatever you've got to me. I've got none. Completely okay. Enough. There you go. Half of what we put down. I put 32 down, by the way, so... Same. <laughs> uh, that's weird. Do you wait? Oh, no, I've still got 24 left. Okay, I'll, I'll set this up over here. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that in between we'll episodes. But meanwhile, uh, I'm going to head back and get ready to um, start making the recipes for the barrels. Uh, so we'll see you when we're over there. 
So, all the dark iron's burnt now, I've been back home and set some recipes up, but before we just go back and make the uh, barrel upgrades, we're going to make these cool things here now. These are wrath lamps. Have you got the final piece oh, of the no, puzzle, no, no. Ox? <laughs> yes, I do, and it is the rough lighter, or the wrath lighter, or whatever oh, you want to cool. call it. Okay. But, um, I want to pull out one, and you can see it uses the durability on the wreath lighter. I, mm. I, I can't figure out one to call it, okay? <laughs> the wrath lighter. The if lighter, you take okay. another one out, I've got my uh, thing over. So you, you can see the item ID changing every time as well. Uh, so I've got to go and grab my wrath lighter back actually because I've left them at home just to be safe because I didn't want to burn my base down. And the really cool thing about these lamps, I'm just going to call it a lamp now, is that they are amazing at lighting areas up. I believe they can travel, or the light can travel around about 28 blocks or something in the region of that it's before ridiculous. it actually starts dimming. It's, it's um, uh, I think it's 8 really blocks. Good. Uh, horizontal and 24 blocks in height. Mm. I think it's around that, but I can't remember exactly. So I'm just going to yeah. use my entire wrath lighter up on this, actually. Just one second. Do you want a couple more lamps? Uh, I've got nine. Uh, yeah, just stick some of your dark iron. Oh, I'll I need out, I one more dark iron. How many have you got right now? Uh, I've got 11. Ooh, I've only got two. <laughs> there we go. How many How many have you got? Uh, I've only got two. There you go. There's five. That should bring you up to seven. There we go. Uh, yeah, it does. Thanks. Cool. Uh, so, if we uh, shall we wait till night time and show it, or shall we go down somewhere completely dark where? <laughs> um, actually, uh, I think we can go to the bottom of your mine. Actually, that's pretty dark. Ah, uh, but it's all lit up. Ooh, we'll find somewhere. <laughs> we will find somewhere. But uh, whilst we're coming through, we need to make some girls, don't we? Oh yeah, we and need to make the barrel the upgrades. Barrel upgrade, and they are really cool as we were explaining at the beginning of the episode. Mm. And what so, did you have set up? I've already laid the recipe out here. It's dark iron ingots with blaze rods, Ooh. barrels in the centre, ender pearls, which are actually surprisingly hard to collect in FTB. I've not seen many mm. endermen, have you? But the endermen, as soon as you get them, they just teleport away and it's <laughs> exactly. so frustrating. And there's some leather in there as well, so make loads of these. If I take the entire lot out of orcs, then I'll leave... I have uh, one. <laughs> uh, seven, there you go. There you go. I should take you up to eight, there we go. And I'm going to fly over to my base and so, one or two of these on. what you can do with these then, do you want me to explain it or do you want me to wait till you're um, at yours? You, you can start explaining it by the time okay. I get here. So the way these barrel upgrades work is if you hold shift and right click on a barrel, it'll actually change the uh, GUI of the barrel, or well, not GUI, but the uh, way that it looks. The storage and, um, hold, hold, uh, usage. Yeah, and uh, what it'll do is it'll upgrade the barrel storage from 64 stacks all the way up to 1024 stacks. Uh, there is a downside to this though, because they're called extra dimensional barrel upgrades. What it does with every stack over the original 64, it will store that extra dimensionally. Now if you pick the barrel up and there's more than 64 stacks and you'll lose all the rest of the stacks that you've got. Uh, so say if you had 1024 stacks you'd lose almost 1000 stacks and you'd only be left with the original 64 that the barrel can natively hold. Uh, so if you do use these you've, it's a very good idea to actually take the stuff out of the barrel before you break them if you've got more than 64 stacks. Uh, if not you'll end up losing that and you'll never be able to get that back. So uh, let's go and uh, grab some coal out here because I've just upgraded crap. my coal barrel. I just upgraded a barrel yeah. and I've got 8,199 pieces of coal <laughs> yeah. in one barrel. So That's as incredible. you can see, once the barrel's upgraded, uh, once it is an extra dimensional barrel and you've got more than 64 stacks in, uh, it will actually come up with these exclamation marks and that will let you know that it is storing the rest of it extra dimensionally. Mm. And, and to it's watch uh, out. yeah, and it's a warning of you not to break that. So if you see that next to there, it means don't break it. If you take less than uh, 64 out of there, the exclamation marks will go away and let you know that it's safe to be broken, and you'll still get this stuff back. Uh, so that's pretty much that. So we're gonna head off. Uh, See so if we can find a dark place to uh, put these wrath lamps down. I'm gonna upgrade a few more of these chests as well. Uh, I'm uh, barrels as well, and I'm assuming orcs you're wanting to do the same, aren't you? Mm, the only problem I have right now is like I keep saying my base is sort of on the outside right now um, I'm currently making sort of areas for the storage and mm. you need to help me with some red power because I am a novice a complete novice at red power exactly red power it's a little bit awkward to get set up in so if you want this episode we can get you a miniature power source set up for it ready to go I just noticed I have three diamond chest well sorry no yeah three no wait I can't count four <laughs> Diamond chests worth of materials, and nice. I have nowhere to put them right now. Nowhere, completely nowhere. Wow. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna find somewhere to test these wrath lamps out, and uh, we'll be right back. So welcome back. We are at my base to test the wrath lamp. I 
I, I, I have a mental thing about this name now. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to call him. But uh, just call it anyway, a raft lamp. A raft lamp. You see this torch right here? Okay, we need to do some sort of marking system. Yeah. Um. Okay. What? Well, okay. Got a some, lever. Lever. That'll I've do. got some fair blocks there here. There you go. A okay. lever for how far the torch light goes out. Let's put one there as well. Yeah. And now let's switch it to the raft lamp. Be prepared to be amazed. <laughs> See, they don't dun, go dun, much dun. further <laughs> until they uh, actually update the blocks, do they? It's it weird, isn't it? It starts dimming around here. Wow. Well, then again, though, the blocks are still <laughs> updating for me. Are they? Yep, they're still not... Uh, Mine are fully updated. And that's just on this side. That'll be that side mm. as well. But these guys are really, really awesome. But yeah, they're, they're, they're a little bit of an awkward shape, though. They're like a whole block, which is... Mm. Kind of annoying, but um, mm. yeah, they're awesome though for lighting up areas around your base where you don't want to spam torches everywhere. Because torches, uh, one thing I actually noticed is if you place a, a hell of a lot of torches down, you start getting lag, and that's mm. kind of weird, isn't it? The one thing I want to switch to is something about the Twilight Forest, and it's called the, uh, moon... the Moonworm. Yeah, the Moonworm. Yeah, I saw someone using it on a live stream, and I was like, that is amazing. And mm. if you don't know what they are. It's a little contraption B I think thing, someone's on the server's actually got one. I'm not sure if it's Star or someone. Um, I think it might be Q has one. Uh, I'm not sure. I saw someone I using it at their base, and I can't remember who. But, uh, the, yeah, they're very yeah. cool. So, uh, now, we've got a few other things to get on with, haven't we? You want to show us some yeah. of the forestry stuff you've been up to, because, uh, yeah, I want to set some forestry stuff up soon, but I know nothing about it. Oh, and we need pack. to do a lot of that forestry, don't we? I yeah. mean, the other day, if you are not aware, I recorded my own sort of biomass and biofuel episode where we covered because obviously we're doing forestry together yeah um and you were busy at the time i believe weren't you? my internet was dead you had some real big <laughs> problems and i didn't say that in the episode but uh mm. yeah i went and made loads of biofuel so now we have a pretty good collection i think we have around about 1600 buckets worth of biofuel exactly but uh it might mean sort of in my relaxation time i've been working on my own tree farm with the hole in the wall and yeah, with a ginormous non. This is just a chunk missing. Just, just believe yeah. it's a chunk missing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so uh, this is a little room I've been working on. We did some work with the CP. The, it's no, it's the CF, CF foam, foam, isn't it? It's awesome blocks. It's basically foam what you can spray onto the wall, and then you can use uh, these things called painters. If I go in there and get these here. Actually, uh, the I painters. Have, have you actually got right some? Now. Let's go and have a look. Yeah. I think you've got some in your chest. Uh, what you can do is you can actually use the painters to uh, paint so, the blocks once they're down. Uh, so, have you got one what's uh, light yep, grey? Yeah, have you got one what I can actually Boom. Put? Okay, Ooh, there. No. There you go. It's awesome stuff. You can actually suffocate in it. Do, do, do. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if you come to this side, you can see one block just hardened. Yeah. And the really cool thing about this is you can't actually get the block back, which is a little bit annoying. But, um, you can create an awesome can floor with these. Spread a humongous area. Have you got the paint now? Time. Uh, let me have a look. I think I, I need have... some colour for it. Oh, my jetpack's okay, dead I again. I have one there. Let me just go and get some lapis lazuli. That should be able to work as a guide. Lazuli lapis. It? Yep, lazuli will have a lap. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I've got to charge my jetpack up, so we'll be back once we've uh, gone and got the stuff ready. So, we are back, and we are back prepared, and I've got my own painter. Yee so yeah, these blocks here, decorating. they are now hardened, and you can notice the different textures if they're hardened or not. And obviously, you can fall through mm. these guys. But uh, actually, I why, like why foam. Don't you paint it. It's you paint it. <laughs> okay, let's just grab the painter. So you can just right-click a block, and it will actually color it. Uh, you can do this awesome. with pretty much any of the dyes you can see here on these painters. And uh, I don't know what it is, but I really like these blocks. They're so simple to actually place down uh, mm. with the sprayer kit, aren't they? And if you are being very really buggy and you just want one block, there is there is a recipe how to make one of these. So if you maybe accidentally broke a block, because these mm. guys, they're like literally a one hit. And um, they're very simple to actually finish. make, aren't they? Like the sprayer is just cobblestone and sticks. It's the pellets, which are construction foam, uh, which is made from clay dust, coal dust, uh, redstone and water cans. So it's very simple to actually make these. Not a lot of uh, cost at all. And they're great, like, versatile blocks. If you guys are block. wondering if you can uh, mine these with silk touch, nope, they do not work. So yeah. they are literally just a one block place. They're useful, though, if you're filling in a, um, one big place at once. And they'd be great for filling the top of quarries if you didn't want mm. the uh, thing there. Which is what we sort of did when we had a bit of a water problem. Mm. 
But uh, anyway, come back in here for a minute and we'll, we'll do some explaining. <laughs> So, do you understand any of this? <laughs> uh, I know what these are here. These, uh, this is an arboretum, isn't it? And this thank is you a for logger. saying that, because that's another word I can never say. Oh, an arboretum. Um, I, I look at it and I'm like, arboretum. <laughs> arboretum. I have no idea. <laughs> but anyway, so the way this works is I've got some advanced solar panels or one or two on, on the, the roof, roof powering this MFE, which is actually drained like crazy. Mm. And uh, these guys power the electrical engines, which power these two awesome blocks. As Chip rightly said, this is a logger and this is an arboretum. Arboretum. Um, and what happens is the arboretum, I'm going to call it that now, Yeah. <laughs> pretty much plants these uh, blocks on the floor here called humus, and it plants the trees. Mm. The really cool thing is, is you can't bone mill them, so it's yeah, not like you a cheeky in, method. You can pick the saplings back up again, uh, but if you place them, they won't actually be part of the machine. The machine's got to mm. actually place them. And what the logger does is, when the trees are fully grown, it uh, pretty much you know destroys the whole tree, not matter you know what size it is, and then the arboretum or sorry, the logger picks them up and then uh, it takes it straight out into the chest. You get the uh, all the logs as you can see here. This has been going for a little while, hasn't it? It's about two or three well, days. Uh, yeah, and I was on one night, and mm. all these chests are full up, and I've already got I think got 55 logs of spruce, you know, mm. 38 here, whole barrel through. So I see you've got a diamond pipe here, there. which is probably sending the saplings back, is it? Yep. Uh, although you've got apples going back in there, by the way. Yeah, I know it's a little bit, a little bit it's annoying because it keeps blocking up. Yeah, you, you've not uh, set this up right here. I know. <laughs> you do some I'm fixing. not very good, but uh, actually, let me place a. But the uh, reason you were showing me this here. wasn't it? Because I was thinking Boom. of setting these up all in the front of my base. I was thinking having one for each tree, and then you can also get wheat farms and so on. Well, what happened here? There's a pile of birch wood randomly appeared over this side. I'm just uh, I just upgraded some extra dimensional. Upgraded the barrel. Yeah. Nice one. <laughs> very useful. Now I've got 102 mm. rolls of a So, probably in my next episode I'm going to upgrade some of these, but we thought we'd just show you it, what these basically are before uh, I go and do that, because I'm probably going to do a few in between episodes and a few on camera, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for this episode, isn't it, Orcs? Unless there's anything else mm. we've got to do. I mean, from my base, there's not. I've been sort of making a logo, loads of progress off uh, camera. And have you shown the guy these amber blocks? Because these amber blocks are awesome. They're awesome, yeah. They're like, you can sort of see back. through them. I mean, with a double layer of them, two here uh, they, they just blend in really well and you can also mm. make them in a brick form which is even cooler i like the shape i don't know what it is but the bricks remind me of a texture pack i used to use and i can't remember what the texture pack's called but there was a, I, I, I just a cobblestone believe this whole like room so it just sort of blends in quite nicely and i want to turn oh, these whoa. green lamps into orange ones because i yeah. believe they would i mean even i think you suggested it mm. it'll look a little bit more mm. to the color but anyway i believe this is a uh, Mm. This episode is coming to an end. Other than that, I've done a few things at my uh, base, haven't I? Mm, you, you've upgraded them solar panels. I've changed it. Like. Yeah, I've gone and put them all to advanced solar panels. And oh, I've gone and upgraded the sorting system a bit, which I'm probably going to show you in next episode. So I'm not going to go over it mm. now. There's been a lot of updates this episode. It's very complicated, your mm. sorting system. Yeah. So uh, I think that's about the end for this episode. So... Uh, yeah, yeah, and actually, I just sort of flew over here, and I just remembered my sugar cane farm. I was sort of really bored one day, and I thought, well, the blocks are there, and I can just leave it on all the time. And I've nearly got a barrel full of sugar cane. Oh, actually, no, it's full, so let me use one of these extra-dimensional storage. <laughs> I'm, I love them. Mm. They are so handy. I've been needing to make one for a very long time, but uh, yeah. yeah. So I By the way, while I'm at my base, quickly, this is what I did with the sorting sh system. Uh, I basically put a... Um, a sorting machine here which filters all the good stuff uh, which is the unknown stuff to yellow which takes it all to these chests i love how you're like yeah. i'm not going to explain let's end the episode no nope, yeah i'm going to explain <laughs> well i was stood right next to it so i thought it was a bit pointless not to and um all the bad stuff goes straight here into the recycler which then gets recycled which is why i've got so many uh, pieces of scrap which is why i needed the bigger barrels so everything <laughs> turns around in a circle in the end uh, so yeah that's about the end for this episode that's about the 30th time we've both said that haven't it isn't it? Yep, I'm just looking at the bio and I'm so tempted just to do a massive explanation about it, but I'm, I'm not. <laughs> just Next to bore episode. everyone. So yeah, we're yep. going to wrap the episode up here. I hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll see you all on the next episode. Goodbye. 
So that was episode 16 of Feed the Beast. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, a like would be really awesome as it lets me know that you enjoyed the video and want me to continue the series. On screen now is links to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to be updated for any future uploads, along with links to my past three videos including my last Minecraft, Tech It and Feed the Beast. Last Tech It was episode 15. There's also a world download in the description of that episode if you've ever uh, watched the series and felt like downloading the world and trying it out. Uh, you can go and download that from there. Uh, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all on the next one.